Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Alicia, also known as your fairy tale queen. Today I have a very special fairy tale to tell you. Once upon a time there were three bears that lived in a house in the woods. Papa Bear was a great big bear. Mama Bear was a middle-sized bear. And Baby Bear was a wee little bear. Each of them had their own porridge bowl. Papa Bear had a great big bowl. Mama Bear had a middle-sized bowl. And Baby Bear had a wee-sized little bowl. They each had a chair to sit on. Papa Bear had a great big square hard chair. Mama Bear had a middle-sized soft squishy pretty chair. And Baby Bear had a wee little rocking chair made of wood. Each bear had a bed to sleep in too. Papa Bear had a great big firm bed. Mama Bear had a middle-sized fluffy bed. And Baby Bear had a wee little bed. One morning, Mama Bear cooked up some porridge for breakfast. It was so hot that they thought they would go for a walk in the woods while it cooled. After they left, a little girl named Goldilocks was lost in the woods and passed by their house. She knocked on the door. No one answered, so she walked in. Goldilocks' feet hurt from all the walking she had done trying to find her way home, and she wanted to sit down. First, she tried Papa Bear's chair, but it was too big and hard. Then she tried Mama Bear's chair, but it was too soft and squishy. She sunk right down. Then she tried Baby Bear's rocking chair, and she rocked and she rocked, and all of a sudden the chair broke, and down fell Goldilocks. Goldilocks was very hungry. She went into the kitchen, and she saw three bowls of porridge. First, she tasted the porridge from Papa Bear's great big bowl. It was so full that it was still too hot. Then she tasted the porridge from Mama Bear's middle-sized bowl, but it was too cold. So then she tasted the porridge from Baby Bear's bowl. It was just right, so she ate it all up. Oh, now her tummy was full and she was so tired from the long day that she went upstairs to look for a bed. First, she tried Papa Bear's bed, but it was too hard. Second, she tried Mama Bear's bed, but it was too soft. Then third, she tried Baby Bear's bed, and it was just right. She fell fast asleep. Soon after she went to sleep, the three bears came back home. They looked at their chairs. Papa Bear said, Somebody's been sitting in my chair. And Mama Bear said in her middle-sized voice, Somebody's been sitting in my chair. Then Baby Bear cried out in his wee little voice, Somebody's sitting in my chair and they broke it all to pieces. Papa Bear looked over to the table and said in his great big voice, Somebody's been tasting my porridge. Mama Bear said in her middle-sized voice, Somebody's been eating my porridge. And Baby Bear, still crying, in his wee little voice said, Somebody's been eating my porridge, and they ate it all up. Papa Bear was very concerned that someone had been in the house, so he walked upstairs, and he said in his great big voice, Somebody's been lying in my bed. Mama Bear then said, Somebody's been lying in my bed. 
and Baby Bear, to his great surprise, somebody has been sleeping in my bed and, and there she is. Just then, Goldilocks woke up. She saw the three bears and was very scared. So she jumped out of bed and ran away. The three bears never saw Goldilocks again. And Goldilocks never left her house again without telling someone where she was going. And that is the end. I hope you enjoyed this fairy tale. I will see you next time. Goodbye from your fairy tale queen.